hitters have to put in their back of their mind. Two hops to Vargas, who tried to pick the short hop, might still have a play. <laughs> Are you kidding me? Okay, now we're just getting unfair. Hello, guys, and welcome back to Grab Slams, a series where we take a look at the most impressive, the best plays in the MLB over the last week. And we got some amazing ones, but over the last week of baseball action, what were the most impressive plays? Make sure you watch till the end for every single moment and hit that subscribe button to the Sportsnet YouTube channel for the best sports coverage around. And without further ado, Let's get into the slams for this week. Now we saw a play by Vargas right at the very start where it bounced right off him. He was still able to make the grab and fire it to first. Well, this play by Bobby Witt Jr. was pretty similar, but even better. Get Victor Reyes off of Snyder's foot. Junior bare hands, got him at first base. The fact that it goes off Snyder, it's just floating in the air. Bobby Wood Jr. is able to not just get the ball and catch it from midair, but also almost catch it and instantly go into a throwing motion right to first, a bullet of a throw, and he just continues to make it easy. And he's a rookie. Now, it would be one thing if that was the only Bobby Wood Jr. play we had to show this week, but there was another play that was better than that. And Straw. On the ground, deep third, Bobby Wood Jr. Long throw is in time! That was a sparkling big league play. My oh my. The dive, the unbelievable throw, and a perfect strike to first base. Just everything about it is just so elegant. And the fact that he just got 20 homers and 20 steals in his first MLB season and is making plays like that. Such a promising player and not even promising, he's already such a good one too. Now we still got some more infield fun to talk about here though. With this one, it was with Mike Miner having an unbelievable play on the mound. There's the pitch, on the ground, right oh. back to Miner, he gloves it, goes to second one, around to first, got him, double play. Thankfully that ball wasn't hit too hard, so his only reaction was to go right behind his back and be able to make the glove grab, but the fact that he was, one, able to get an out at all is impressive, but to be able to turn two is actually unbelievable. But I think it all started with Miner's play, getting it from behind, and also making the perfect throw to second to get that double play happening. Now we got some more infield and pitcher action, I guess, with Cody Clements, who usually plays in the infield, but in this blowout, was on the mound, playing against the Angels, and had this special moment against Shohei Otani. Otani. Strike three called. Clemens with a fist pump as he strikes out Shohei Otani. He's throwing the ball out. That's his first career strikeout. <laughs> it's Otani. And of course, since Cody Clemens is the son of Roger Clemens, it makes it even better. But he's obviously got some pitching skill within him. To be able to strike out Shohei Otani, deservedly so, is going to be able to keep that ball because there's a lot more strikeouts coming, for sure. In the very next game, though, for the Angels, they got a grab slam for themselves, though. This awesome play where they got a walk-off in the most interesting way. There's the point. It's a good one. Rocket, 5-4 on the first pitch. Light it up. Angels win. Seriously, on this show, we've gone through walk-off bunts, we've gone uh, through walk-off bloops, but a walk-off bunt is just so special to, to end the game in extra, to do that in extra innings is just unbelievable, and a heads-up play by the Angels. They could have used a lot more of that throughout the season, but better late than never. Now, we keep going with the magical moments, and of course, we've been keeping up with Albert Pujols' race to 700 career home runs. This last week, there was another huge one with 695. The 0-1 pitch. Me. 
just five more to go and with his current pace it feels like he'll be able to get there but every single one counts and the way it happens getting that game from being scoreless to 2-0 right off his bat is just beautiful and he continues to rank for the Cardinals now speaking of the Cardinals they had a absolutely special game versus the Washington Nationals a game that was actually an unbelievable last couple of innings they were down 5-1 heading into the bottom of the ninth and the way this comeback happens is just so magical Donovan oh man a bad hop 3-2 and the first two have reached Arenado hits it down the right field line slicing fair over the sidewall a ground rule double a run will score nobody out here in this ninth inning, 3-2 again. He walked him from 0-2 to a walk. The 1-0 pitch. Molina, a base hit out to left. Cuts the lead to one. Tommy Edmond. Edmond lines it out to deep left field. Back, 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 it's down! One run is in! Deluzio will score! And the Cardinals will win it! The Cardinals come from behind in the bottom of the ninth. They score five and win it! 6-5! Unbelievable! Everything about it from the walks to the Molina hit, keeping it alive with two outs, to that last Edmund hit, just getting over the glove at left field and just being able to bring in the walk-off run. Everything about it was absolutely perfect and another magical win for st louis now we're gonna end off today's ground slams with some amazing blue jays plays this one by vladdy is just it just gets me every single time it's unbelievable how good of a fielder he can be sometimes natalie rutschman with a ground ball up the first baseline vladdy behind the back to manoa covering for the out and that might have been the only way he could have made that play, Tabby. I think you're absolutely right. What did I just see? The behind the back flip from Vladdy. You don't see that every single day. And you never expect that type of finesse from him. But he just pulls it out of, out of his bag of tricks sometimes. And the way that out happened was just awesome. But going on to the Grab Slam champion of this week. The player with the most impressive plays. Let's go on to Bo Bichette. Who had really been struggling before I guess this series versus Baltimore. But really this last month. But came in and started to get a lot of mojo going. Going. And this game on the fifth versus Baltimore truly showed what he was made of, and he started it with an absolute blast. And a ball drilled to deep left field, and it is gone. A blast from Bo Bichette for number 19 on the season, and the Blue Jays have the lead. You know what he has been doing, Dan? He has been jumping on that first pitch breaking ball and sending it soaring. But he was not done. In the bottom of that very same inning, Bo Bichette came up with one of his better defensive plays that he's ever made. Rounded up the middle. Bichette has it, spins and throws. They got him at first. Just unbelievably fancy with it, and it doesn't also hurt that uh, Vladimir Guerrero Jr. is at first base and making glove grabs like that. It also helps. But Bo was not done. Even though they were already up 3-1, he comes up with this awesome blast for the second of the day. First pitch swinging and good contact. Deep right field and gone. His second home run of the ball game. And it is four to one. I'll tell you what, Bo Bichette's not red hot, he's white hot right now. Going off Otaku with it and just making it look absolutely beautiful, but he was not done torturing Baltimore pitchers. Already it was 7 1 in the seventh inning, but he was not done with just a gargantuan blast right to center field where the Blue Jays are 
As Bouchette cranks another one. Deep left center. It's gone. A three home run game for Bo Bichette. Man, oh man. And for a final tally, Bo Bichette would end up having three hits, three home runs in five at-bats and five RBIs, which considering the Blue Jays won that game eight to four, was the true difference. So Bo Bichette is your grab slam champion and hopefully we'll see him be way more consistent down the stretch. And also it does help for the Blue Jays. They were able to win that series versus Baltimore. Now they're 6.5 games back from the Yankees. And if they keep that winning ways going, we could see maybe the Rays and Toronto being the two teams maybe fighting for the ALE's top spot by the end of things. But that's going to be it for today, guys. Thank you so much for tuning in. If you did enjoy, hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, hit that notification bell for all the grass slams and gas as they come out, as well as all the other sports content. And of course, make sure you share this video with your friends, get it out there to every baseball fan you guys know, and let us know in the comments down below what was your favorite moment in the MLB over this last week, and I will see you guys in the next one. Have a good day, and goodbye.